Holy! <laughs> way up there. Oh yeah. This is a dust devil that formed in a parking lot of all places in Prince George, BC. It's like a mini tornado minus the destructive power. Neat, right? But then I saw a video of that same parking lot, different dust devil. To which I thought, okay, two in the same place, that's unusual. Then I reached out to the reporter who covered this and he told me, I guess there's just been dust devils here all the time because at least for myself, I saw three over the course of three days and other people saw them as well. And I thought, huh, what's so special about this parking lot? <laughs> way up there. Oh yeah. So dust devils are really common in parking lots. Let's try to understand why. So to catch a dust devil, you need to know how and why they form. If you've ever touched pavement on a sunny day, you know it can get really hot, right? Really soaks up the warmth. And that hot ground heats the air right above it. Pavement is so good at absorbing that heat and then slowly releasing it back. Uh, so it heats up really, really quickly and can hold that heat for a long time. You can actually see that hot air sometimes when you look into the distance on a sunny day. You know that shimmering heat haze? That's hot surface air. And what happens to hot air? It rises, just like a hot air balloon. So you have this rising patch of hot air. Then you have cold air swooping in to replace it, which kind of creates this further updraft of the hot air. All you need then is the right kind of wind. You know when you're walking in a park and you sometimes see leaves swirling around in a circle? That tells us wind doesn't always blow in straight lines. Sometimes it blows in a few different directions and under the right circumstances, it can give this rising column of hot air some spin. And from that point, physics takes care of the rest. As this column of air spins, the heat still rising, what ends up happening is it stretches out, kind of like a, a figure skater pulling in his or her arms to spin faster. So too does the dust devil do the exact same thing. Eventually it becomes completely self-sustaining. Just like this coin, you give it a little spin, it does the rest until something stops it. Did you hear that guy in the crowd? He's like, that is cool right there. L let, me, let me play that again. That's hilarious. That is cool right there. But sure enough, as quickly as these dust devils form, they can also fizzle right out. It's not a coincidence that we tend to see a lot of dust devils in parking lots, open fields, and yes, baseball diamonds. Because dust devils form best with hot, dry conditions without trees or buildings to cast shade. You tend to find them in wide open spaces, especially where something like pavement can really trap the heat, which helps kickstart the whole process. Even construction sites, you might see dust devils because of all the exposed soil and gravel and sand, which all heat up pretty fast. The very largest ones have been known to even pick up cars and flip them over when they grow to these really massive sizes that usually happen out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, they can pick up large pieces of debris and sort of hurl them around, and so that's likely to be where a person could get hurt. Dust devils do occasionally cause serious damage. Commerce City, Colorado, 2018. A dust devil launched two porta potties into the air. A couple of years later, in Yukon, a dust devil absolutely shredded a fruit stand. They are an absolute nightmare for paragliders. Ah! 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 And in China, about five years ago, a dust devil killed two children when it sent a bouncy castle high into the air. But these are the exceptions to the rule. Most dust devils come and go without anyone ever noticing them. But as with everything to do with mother nature, if you do see one, maybe just 
stay at a safe distance.